Ballot buying boxes. Um, if you're buying stuff for family, relatives, etc., or your wedding's coming up or something, um, there's another event, I recommend shipping it over. A lot of the stuff isn't available in the Philippines, but it's also can be cheaper to mail it. So if you send stuff three months in advance, it's pretty much guaranteed to get there by, by the time you get there. Um, because some, some of the stuff I send is normally to do with soaps. People love the the Dove uh, from the UK, the the uh, the fizzy bath ball things, the the um, Redox bath stuff, the pearl soap, imperial leather soaps, all these cleaning products that people love. Um, but also pseudo cream is a really good one. Um, I found pseudo cream. It just it's like a miracle thing. Heals so many things out in the Philippines because the dust and whatever creates a lot of problems. Um, pseudo cream seems to fix a lot of stuff. Um, <coughs> so pseudo cream is always very good. And one of the things you can do is get a big tub and then break it down into smaller ones. Because uh, what I found when you go to the doctors, they give you like um, a tub the size of a airfix glue tube and they go oh that's 300 pesos you know like, you know for a rash or something in the uk you get a tub of pseudo cream which is better and is enough for the family for the next two years um for less than what this little airfix tube sized cream costs so that's why i like pseudo cream it's, it's fantastic stuff um we, from everything from nappy rash to um Burns, mosquito bites, um, cracked heels, all sorts. Absolutely. Put it on everything. Put it on everything except your bread and butter. Um, but I like to send all this stuff ahead. It means that your luggage is then empty um, because you don't need to carry all this stuff with it. One of the other things I do, which I recommend if you've got your own place out in the Philippines as well as you can, is separate your clothes. Leave your work stuff or whatever in the US, wherever you come from, and have all your shorts and everything out in the Philippines. It just makes life so much easier. You don't have to carry so much crap with you. Um, I say crap, but that's a bit unfair. You don't have to carry so much stuff with you. Um, it just makes life less complicated. And that's what I do. I don't carry as much gear these days. Uh, when I'm working in the UK, my parents have. I keep my stuff in the airing cupboard. Um, I can, you know, I've got a black hollow that sits in there. It's got my uh, shirts and stuff in it, and then my suit jackets are hung up in the wardrobe. It's it's there. It saves me going. Oh, I need a suitcase. Carry on. Blah blah blah. It's already there. It's already ironed. It's already set up. Spain. I've got wardrobe here philippines got another wardrobe um you just organize yourself so that it doesn't matter where you are you're not hauling a lot of stuff you can get on with hand luggage the reason you do this is you can actually then load up your baggage with other stuff um like camera equipment <laughs> yeah i do carry a lot of camera equipment Although I do recommend getting that insured separately, because um, your the amount of camera gear I've got these days wouldn't be covered on the wouldn't be enough to cover just the camera. Never mind the lenses with it um, on the claim form if they did something uh, <coughs> like dropping your bag. But the the point being is you've got the weight. You can reduce. You can put other stuff in there of value, um, extra laptops or whatever. I've never had anybody query me, query me on my laptops because I've always had at least two laptops with me every time I've gone through the airport. I may have even two cameras uh, because I, I give stuff away sometimes. Um, but the the important thing is you've got that spare space, which means when the, uh, your wife messages you last minute and goes, oh, can you get me some of this? You're like... Okay, I've got five kilos left on my luggage. You can put it in there. 
because you've got shoes in both countries, so your weight's a bit lower. Um, but just use the sales to your advantage when buying. Uh, for example, the January sales. I've, I've been on Marks and Spencers uh, this month on the January sales. And those shoes are for me. <laughs> Spent 300 euros on shoes. Um, it's only half a, half the price of a pair of women's shoes, I believe. But um, I've got a nice pair of brogues because I've got I've left my other pair. Of, well, I've got a pair of brown brogues here, and I've got a pair of black brogues in the UK. So I've got another pair of black brogues for here, um, plus beach shoes and espadrilles, trainers. You name it, I got them all while they're on the sale. Um, that's pretty much how to do it. You bulk buy when it's cheap. If you're doing a ballet buying box, just get a space somewhere in your garage or whatever and just fill it when you come across some it. Um, I normally get stuff from Asda. Asda do good stuff on the bulk, uh, especially on things like the Radox bath soaps and things like that, which Filipinos love. So... I get Radox from there, I get, um, I think Dove, I normally end up getting from Boots when they're on sale in Boots, and basically I shop around and know where all the stuff is, but also you can get your wife, your partner, to shop around online for you, there's nothing to stop them using the online websites to check out where the best deals are, and say, oh, they've got a sale on on Tuesday on XYZ, and then you can fill the box up. Now, one of the things I will say is you're not obligated to buy all this stuff. <laughs> because I do it um, because I've not been away for a long period of time. And I know they don't have access to this stuff. So for me, it's not expensive. I mean, when you're buying uh, Radox... Um, like 20 of them for £20 or whatever, and you're getting free ones as well. Um, it's not breaking the bank, but it puts a smile on the person's face receiving something they hadn't expected. Um, there's, a, there's a phrase that I use quite a lot in our house, which is, um, when I give, you know, it's like when I give a gift, it's a gift. As soon as it's expected, they get nothing. Um because they've lost they've lost the the whole point of it which is that it's a free gift and should be seen as something to be thankful for but as soon as they start expecting it then it's no longer a gift it's something they're demanding which means they get nothing i know it sounds a bit strange but it's just the way i've gone through life it's like i don't mind helping others but as soon as somebody starts expecting it, I start questioning why. Um, goodwill comes for free. It, so it shouldn't be expected that you do X, Y, Z. You should be doing it because you want to do it. But either way, ballot buying boxes is the best way to ship stuff to the Philippines in advance of what you can, arriving there. And I would advise if you're going on your first trip, don't send any. Don't send any at all. Um, this is more for the guys that have been there a bit longer or they're on a third trip or whatever. They know what they're expecting. They know the boxes are safe. If they arrive before they do. Um, but if you're relocating there... Um, I can receive you that. I'm just, just thinking about this because I just think it's a bit of a hassle for my in-laws. So if you want to send any ballot buying boxes to my place out in the Philippines, um, there'll be a handling fee. The reason being is my in-laws are getting on a bit. So they actually have to pay somebody to move the boxes for them. So um, there's a handling fee for the for storing them. Um, Steve and Ibiza had a... Uh, Ibiza Steve had a load of boxes dropped off at my place the advantage we got is there's always somebody there because obviously we've got the store open and stuff and it's pretty secure um, all our locks are 5 lever um, 
Oh, I can't remember what model they are now. The high level security locks. The stuff doesn't get touched in our place. But um, yeah, so if you do want to leave your boxes at my place, you're welcome to do so. But I'm not sure how much to charge because I'll have to find out how much the guys charge for humping the boxes around. Um, but yeah. Because I was just thinking of that reason being is I know some of you guys aren't 100% on who you're going to be living with or whatever. This way you've got somewhere safe to put the boxes for a month or so while you sort yourself out. And you know where they are. You can come and pick them up anytime. Alright. Anyway, thanks for watching.